What is up guys welcome back to another video in today's video we are going to be taking a look at the first table rom for our mi a1 well we have been testing many roms for like couple of days but this is the first table rom with wi-fi bluetooth camera working and just overall stability improved for this t -sort. and yes it's been long it's like almost more than six months that this device has been launched and still there were no roms at all and i will tell you the reason later on while installing the rom but let's take a look at this this is lineage os 14.1 of course there are still not oreo roms available called I will again tell you later on the initial impressions touch response on this ROM is just amazing if you just hold a Redmi Note 4 and an MI1 side by side the first thing that you will notice is the display it's just a bit undersaturated and the touch response is just poor well with this ROM there are no issues cause yeah lineage OS somehow fixes that touch response issue and then again the colors are now adjustable on this ROM so yeah this is just truly amazing that the first builds of the kernel is able to do that it's just lineage OS 14.1 stock Android Nougat which is nothing new to us as this device is shipped with android one but then again this is how it looks it's a bit darker shade than your stalker android then again performance is on par you can just tap an app and it opens just instantaneously like look at that then again we have the camera fully working and then the camera quality is pretty amazing and of course the second camera doesn't work but your normal stuff such as recording clicking pictures definitely works then your normal calls mobile data everything works just not the volty and then again as xiaomi devices ship with two types of fingerprint scanners the goodix fingerprint scanner is just unlucky over here this time for my mi1 i have finally fpc while my redmi note 3 and note 4 have a goodix fingerprint scanner so goodix fingerprint scanner are not the best in terms of development for example as this is the first build the fingerprint scanner is fully working as this is a fpc device but if it's for my redmi note 4 which is a goodx fingerprint scanner it wouldn't be the same then again we have a couple of apps over here g apps are pre-built go into the display scrolling down you have a couple of options over here such as display size and stuff which is a bit more advanced than your stock android as you can see you have five options over here rather than three then you have prevent accidental wake up expanded desktop wake on plug i mean display just a normal stuff and it surely works then if you go to the live display you can always control your color for example the display of mi1 is just way cooler than the redmi note 3 and note 4 so you can actually adjust it by color calibration as you can see i have decreased the blue so it looks a bit more natural and then again you have picture adjustment where you can actually control just everything about the display such as the saturation intensity contrast if you want to make it amoled just decrease the contrast increase the saturation press okay done now you have punchy colors as good as amoled like look at that of course you can't actually make it through the camera but in real life it just looks amazing going back you have sound and storage everything working just fine i will not using this rom for a long so can't actually talk about the battery life you have gestures which only has two gestures i guess yeah then you have buttons where you can actually configure the shortcuts for your split screen and all other stuff that you like then again you can also reorient your volume case just your normal stock lineage os features your status bar where you can control your battery and stuff then again you have system profiles which is the standard feature of lineage os comes in handy android version 7.1.2 lineage os 14.1 now let's just get to the installation of this rom well it's kind of bit tricky cause xiaomi did give us the kernel sources but the kernel sources were as bad or just incomplete as ported from a redmi note 4 like the dead man the name of the developer who has actually made this rom for our mi a1 actually had to buy a mi a1 in order to continue this development earlier he just ported the sources from redmi note 4 which is just hats off to him extremely talented developer but when the kernel sources were available for the mi a1 they were as broken as ported from a redmi note 4 like camera wasn't working so let's just get to the installation of this rom so first of all you have to just back up everything that you want because we would be wiping our device as a whole then download the actual rom then the recovery given by deadman not the official to up recovery that wouldn't work as mi1 is an extremely weird device so yeah once you do that just power off your device and once you have everything ready such as your PC then your phone with a type C cable connected to it you have to just install all of the drivers given link in the description which would be for the Xiaomi drivers and then the ADB once you have set up that you have to just go to the ADB folder now to just copy the recovery that I have provided a link in the description then if you have a Windows 8 or 7 you have to just hold on shift and right click it will give you option for a command prompt for windows 10 it shows powershell which you can of course change but if you want to do it easier just copy a cmd exe and just open that then you have to actually unlock your device for that you have to hold on your power and volume down at the same time there you go connect the phone to your pc and just type in fast boot devices once it shows that that means your phone has been successfully connected then you have to also type in fast boot oem unlock 
as you can see my device has been already unlocked so it shows that but you will get a different screen if you have not actually unlocked your device before once all of that is done you can't actually install a recovery on your mi m1 because as i told you it's a weird phone that's why you have to actually boot into the recovery first so let's just do that by typing fast boot boot recovery dot img and hit enter once it downloads the recovery it will do all of the stuff itself oh shit never show the screen allow the modification once you get the screen you have to just go to wipe advanced wipe and select dalvik system data and the internal storage as that's necessary swipe to wipe done you have successfully wiped your phone go home and just disconnect your device now you will also need a otg connector with a pen drive or just a memory card if you have i would recommend the otg as mounting a memory card it's still a issue with the top recovery so yeah i'm using my galaxy assets otg connector over here and copy these two files which would be the boot img and the lineage os 14.1 Once that is done, just remove the pen drive, connect it to the USB connector, and plug it into your phone. Once you do that, go to mount and mount USB OTG. Go home, go to install, up a level, then to USB OTG. Once you do that, search for your ROM. I have bunch of ROMs over here, which I was testing with some of the brave people that I know. Select your Lineage OS ROM. Confirm to flash. This will take around two to three minutes. As I told you before, M I One is a very different device, such as the Pixel devices, as it runs Android One. So it has seamless updates. So until it happens, I will explain you why M I One is very difficult to develop for. So the way it runs, it's pretty different than your normal phone. So I will open a custom ROM for uh, another phone, which would be a One Plus Five. This is how it should be looking. Such as your normal install folder, that's not necessary. Your normal kernel, that means the boot IMG and system dat files. But that's not the case with the M I One. M I One Runs with payload dot bin and its payload properties. It doesn't even have kernel built in in that specific ROM. That's why it's kind of hard to build as it has two kinds of different partitions in order to run when a update has been received. As it has like almost the fastest updates that I can remember. Unpacking a system dat file is pretty easy, but there is no method to actually unpack a payload dot bin. Still not easy for most of the developers who have learned the conventional system on the right for the OnePlus Five, as you can see over here. Once the ROM has been installed, just go home, reboot system. As you can see, it shows slot A and slot B, which you will not find in any kind of another phone, and swipe to reboot. You can now unplug your USB OTG. So yeah, you have to actually hold down your volume down and power just to go into the fast boot again. I know it's weird, but we have to do this as these are just the first stages of modding for our MI1 and try to go to the recovery again. Just unplug the phone. Connect your USB OTG again. Go to wipe again. Advanced wipe. Dial wake data. Internal storage again. No need of system. Done. Go to install and just select your USB OTG. There you go. Select install image and just try to flash the boot IMG again. And this time it would be successful. I know it's weird. And as you can see, it would now successfully boot into Lineage OS 14.1. I seriously don't know why you can't actually do this while you're installing the ROM for the first time. You have to actually boot the ROM once. Once it has a dead boot, you have to again flash the recovery. It's a mounting issue, as you know. It uses two kinds of different slots, so that's kind of necessary. Just after two minutes, it has been finally boot. Next, next, skip. I don't have any SIMs. Setup as new. I don't want to connect to the Wi-Fi. Continue. Next, next, skip. Skip anyway. Next, all set. Next and start. And there you go, guys. That's how you install a custom ROM on your Mi A1. I hope you guys enjoyed. And be sure to drop a like as the developer has done amazing job in making this ROM for our weird ass device. Or just if you appreciate my easiest way to show you guys how the Mi A1 works. And just thanks for watching. See you in the next one. Peace.